Hey everyone, Rick here, and folks, it is time for the post game of Rock Bottom. Now on Kickstarter, link in the description. We're just gonna go around and give our post game thoughts. Starting with the victor of the night, Miss Amanda. What did you think of Rock Bottom? It was fun, but I definitely encourage drinking things that are low alcohol content. <laughs> I know, you drink so much more than I anticipated in this game, even though the number of sips you take is equal to the number in the corner. With as many rounds in the game as there are, that adds up fast. Shelby, what did you think? I thought it was a lot of fun, but this card, this card is dangerous. <laughs> it is! Double <laughs> drinks if you're found with the monkey butt, and at the end of the game, quadruple drinks. Never, Mike? Never trust the monkey with peaches. <laughs> it was, it was green. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh Folks, check out the Kickstarter link in the description. We had a lot of fun. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time. Okay, folks, after the game, now that we're sobered up, let me go through kind of a summary of how to play. So again, this is Rock Bottom. Check the Kickstarter link in the description below. A project for a drinking game, though the rules do say you can use other things besides alcohol as, you know, quote unquote punishment. Rules are right here, as a matter of fact. So there are no rules in the box. I don't know if that'll be the case after the Kickstarter, but it it is nice to have that QR code because the rules are then living rules. Any updates or errata or anything will be updated with the rules. So that is a plus to doing it that way. Here are the cards, the deck of cards. There are 10 suits, if you want to call them that. So for example, here's the peanut couple. Here is uh, my sis. I was like, what in the world is this? My sister's like catfish. Oh, catfishing. Okay. So there, again, there's 10 suits of four cards, and they're going to be numbered, you know, like this suit is all ones. These peanuts are all twos. And uh, I'm not sure what the disparity is. If there's like, it uh, looks like maybe three or four suits of ones, a uh, couple suits of twos, a couple suits of threes, and then there's only one suit of fours. The number in the corner is how many points you're going to score. The objective is to get four of a kind, and the person to do that will then, once they do, end the round, uh, and they score that many points. So obviously getting four fours means they're going to get 16 points. You get four of the ones, you only get four points. And that number is also indicative of how many any sips or shots or however you want to do it, everybody else has to take. So if the player who got the four of a kind of these fancy pigs, they would have to take four shots. So you don't add them up. It's just whatever the number is for that suit they got. And that's how many sips or shots or whatever everybody else has to take. There's one special card though, the monkey buns, the joker, that is whoever gets this card in a round cannot pass it on until the next round. So once they get this card dealt to them, they lay it out in front so everyone can see they're the Joker this round. If they're not the winner, i.e. they are one of the ones who lost the round and has to drink, they have to drink double whatever the number is. So in that case, it'd be eight sips. In the very last round, whoever has the Joker has to drink quadruple. And so that does mean if that someone had this four times four, then would be 16. So you definitely don't want that combination. So how does the game actually play? Well, depending on the number of players, it plays three to 10. You use that many suits. So in our four player game, we would have one, two, three, four suits and set the rest of the cards aside and then shuffle these up and uh, also include the joker the joker is always included in that and then shuffle these up nominate someone to be the first dealer and the dealer will just pass round around clockwise let's say so then we would go you know do something like this where we all then have four cards except for one person who's going to have five because that joker's in there 
So here's my hand, for example. So I'm, oh, look at this. I got four of these peanuts. So I'm already, I'm sorry, three. So I'm already three cards of the way there. And then I have these other two. So who ended up getting the joker out of our little situation here? Look at this. This person could go for either catfishes or fancy pigs. This one, oh, they got the joker and they got one of each. So they'll put the joker out in front of them. And then the first player, what you do on a turn is you simply take one of your cards and pass it. You can go clockwise or counterclockwise either way, but you take one of your cards and pass it over to the next person who then looks at their cards and says, ooh, thank you for that. So now I have three of those. Take one and then pass it. Next player will look at those and be like, okay, I guess I'm going for fancy pigs. And then which of these do I want to pass? Because again, you know, Maybe the lower numbers get passed more often because that's going to be less points. But then again, uh, you know, that could be something to think about. So in this case, well, let's just pass the twos then. But of course, if you keep an eye out, the next person who, oh my gosh, I dealt this person all four of those. So when it came to their turn, they'd take this and be like, I don't even care. Boom, I had four. So their score for the round is four. Write that down, then collect all the cards, shuffle them up, and do that again. The exact same thing. And then there's different thresholds. Uh, the rules, as written on the website, said first to 60 points wins. That's the way we played it in our four-player game. It took 22 rounds for someone to finally get to 60. Uh, but if you look at the Kickstarter page, I think it actually mentions fewer points with less players. So uh, just kind of keep an eye out for that. But then de uh, dealer position will then pass. But then this Joker card, whoever has had it, they would also pass that to the next player. Now, in our game, we actually house ruled it where that player who had the Joker could then pass it to a player of their choice. So it wasn't always going clockwise or it wasn't always going counterclockwise. But if like, you know, we saw someone was just way ahead of us in points, we would just give them the Joker then. So uh, we just pass the Joker to whoever we wanted to, but I think rules is written. You're supposed to pass it the same way you pass the cards. But other than that, it was an absolute blast, which no coincidence got more fun. The more we drank <laughs> because it's a very simple card shedding game. Uh, just keep an eye on who's keeping what if you can, you know, keep tabs on them. So you saw someone kept a fancy pig next time you get a fancy pig. If you have the option, maybe pass a different card and, you know, hold the fancy pig behind because, you know, it looks like that maybe they're going for that. But either way, uh, it was an absolute blast. Again, that got more fun <laughs> the longer the game went. I'll be honest, I did not know we'd be drinking as much as we did. So, for example, you know, you had, uh, you know, someone who had the four pigs. Everyone takes four sips unless you had the Joker, in which case you take eight. Um, and so I was drinking actual hard liquor at first, and that got, uh, I couldn't keep doing that. <laughs> because I was like, I was not expecting it to go on for this many rounds. It was a first game for us, so we were just kind of feeling it out. So I definitely switched to beer after that. But again, it was just a fun time, as you probably saw in the post-game reactions, but after that I did want to actually give an actual review of kind of a how to play and whatnot. Uh, definitely check out the Kickstarter if something simple like this appeals to you. It's just a fun little social game that you can play with your friends and or family. And folks, that is Rock bottom. So thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate it. And until next time.